I hate local storage and you know why? Because it's an absolute traitor. Imagine your website is getting attacked and one way or another the attacker managed to get an XSS, a cross-site scripting attack working on your website. We'll get to how that works in a bit but essentially the attacker can just ask the local storage, hey can I have all the information that you have? And you know what this little shit will say once the attacker says please? Well, here you go. Here's all the sensitive information I have inside of local storage. I hope you enjoy it. Would you like some credit card information on top? Local storage is not a place where you want to keep any kind of secure information. It doesn't even try to hide the fact that it's super treacherous. So let's take a look at an example. In React, we're going to set the dangerously inner HTML. Now in React, this naming is actually very clear. The word dangerous in here is for a good reason, because it allows for an XSS, a cross-site scripting attack. Tag. The most simple example, we're going to set the HTML as an image tag. And this image tag takes two things, the source, which we're going to leave empty. And because the source is empty, this image is actually going to error. Of course, there has to be a source. But the image also takes, very interesting, an on error property, which means if we leave the source blank, the on error property will immediately be executed whenever this image is loaded on the screen and we can do whatever we want inside of here. This will be executed from the context of your users, of your web application. If attackers get access to this, they can console log out anything that is inside of local storage. That is the main reason why it can be very dangerous to keep anything important in there. For example, let's log out the session ID that I prepared under application and local storage. Let's insert a session ID right here with a secret value that nobody should be able to read. However, if we go into the console and reload this, let me zoom in so you can see this easier, it literally says secret value right here and that is because client-side JavaScript always has access to local storage and if an attacker got the opportunity to inject anything in here so if local storage is that bad for keeping sensitive information, like for example, session IDs, then where should we put them? And the answer is actually more simple than you might expect. And that's using the more secure alternative cookies. Let me show you how that works. We're still gonna have the source attribute and force an on error to happen right away with no source of the image. Let's open up the on error and inside of here, we're gonna console log something else. And that's gonna be a secret cookie is equal to, this is just a hard coded string. This doesn't do anything, this would simply log out the secret cookie is equal to and then we're gonna log out some logic right here where we split all the document cookies and find a certain cookie that matches the secret cookie is equal to. Now this XSS attack does look a bit messy and the reason is this is just a big ass string that is then being interpreted by React as HTML elements that is then being interpreted as JavaScript code inside of them being executed in the context of the user of your website. But all it does is if we go to our application, we have the secret cookie right here and we can set our value. Let's hit enter and then log out the value of the cookie in our console. Secret cookie is equal to value. So Josh, how the hell is this approach more safe than the local storage? Essentially, the outcome is the exact same. In both cases, local storage and cookies, the code that an attacker injects into our website can read our most sensitive information because it's right here in the console. However, there's one really cool thing we can do with cookies and that is this property right here, HTTP only. On the server, you have the option to simply set this option. And if we do, then something magical happens. I just switch this on for now. And if I reload this page right now, we get an error cannot read properties of undefined reading split. What does that mean? Essentially, we're trying to call the split on something that is undefined. That means the document.cookie all of a sudden, just because we changed this to HTTP only is undefined. If I change that back, reload, there is our secret value again. So all that's happening is in local storage, this completely lives in JavaScript land and you can read and write values using JavaScript just like an attacker also could in your app. Whereas with cookies, there is something magical because there is the HTTP only subcategory and there is the no HTTP only category right here. And only the no HTTP only exactly behaves as the local storage. Essentially, JavaScript can read and interact with them just the same as local storage. But as soon as you set this beautiful HTTP only property, 
all of a sudden JavaScript cannot read anything. It just completely gets blocked. It can't read, it can't write. These values only the server can. And these values are automatically sent along to the server as a cookie whenever you make a request between those two. Now, to be fair to local storage, it's not inherently dangerous. If your app is not vulnerable to XSS attacks whatsoever, then yes, you could technically also keep sensitive information in there. Should you? I say probably no, but that decision is totally up to you. Who would I be to judge? Just put everything important in HTTP only cookies. It's really easy. You can set it on the server and then you'll be golden. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this one as well here or there, a super nice data fetching approach with Next.js and React Query. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.